How you guys doing? FlexNG here. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to play Omen on Icebox, specifically for attack and defense. And then I'm going to later up finish the guides for Bind and Haven to complete the series. With that said, I put a lot of effort into these videos, so drop a like if you actually learned something useful. Subscribe if you want to see more content, and enjoy the guide. Appreciate it. First off, we're going to be attacking A site is Omen, but I'm going to show you the golden rule for your Omen or just enemy smokers in general. So this is a, an example of a good smoke right here. So you want to treat your smoke like a wall. Basically, if the enemy's try and exit the smoke on you, that's the first thing you see is the enemy. There's no um, unpredictability of where they're coming from. This is an example of a terrible smoke because it, it gives them room to lurk outside the smoke. Uh, there's a lot more room where they can, you know, cut out uh, to the left here, make it more unpredictable where they're coming from. So, this is a bad smoke, and the first smoke that I threw was a good smoke. Your team wants to push A, and as Omen, your job is to smoke for your team. So, the very first smoke that I would throw as the round starts is a, a smoke off screen. So, this smoke right here is pretty good because it, you know, uh, it acts as a wall right here. If they want to go up the rope, they're going to get punished. If they go through the smoke, they're most likely going to get punished. They're going to have to use utility to get past this point. So this smoke actually makes them have to go around, uh, but there's other smokes that you can do. So there's going to be two options of smokes here that you can throw. Uh, there's this option right here where you can make a one way right here. I'm going to show you the advantages and disadvantages of this one way. So this one way, if you're holding from like back here, you can see them first if they push under and top. Uh, so that that's pretty good. They can also hide in the smoke, but that shouldn't be uh, too much, much of a problem. This one way becomes a problem if you decide to push a little bit further because it works against you. If they're over here, uh, this one way actually just works against you. So it depends on how far you push up using that one way. The second smoke, uh, you could actually just smoke this doorway. I think just smoking doorways as Omen or just any smoker is really beneficial. So if they, if they want to push this doorway, they're going to be completely smoked off and they have to use utility to get past it. So let's say you're pushed up on site, you have an extra smoke. I'm going to show you a few examples of what you can do to hold the site a little bit better as Omen using some one ways and just some uh, very simple smokes. So if you're pushed up towards Gen here, you could actually make a one way right here. This one way works uh, actually against you too. So they can actually see you here too. So just be wary of that. If you actually use it close up on the generator right here, you can catch someone off if they swing this uh, right here. And if you, you know, so let's say you take down an enemy right here, you can also reposition like this with your teleport. So moving along, there's also this one area right here. Uh, this one way works if you sit behind this little truck thing. If you don't sit behind this little truck, they can actually see you just as well. So if you sit behind here, you can see them too. Just be careful that you might get peeked from heaven. If they do peek you from heaven and someone's peeking you from under, the beauty of this is you can take this fight right here uh, without having to take a fight underneath. So if you do have an extra smoke, this is a very simple smoke that you could just throw if you want to hold this area. Just be aware that someone could push you from your left side and top here. So uh, this smoke right here, you know, it kind of blocks them up top a little bit. Obviously, they can push this and see you easily but it just blocks this corridor it makes it unpredictable if they push past this so this smoke isn't the worst thing in the world let's say you have an extra smoke and you have full sight control this is a very very simple smoke just to hold screens right here there's a one way that you can actually put on top of this doorway and this works once you get on top of the uh, screen here so you can put the one way right there do like a little crouch jump up here and this actually works exceptionally well you see the legs they can't see you uh this only works really if you have a teammate that's actively watching this because watching these two angles it can be a little bit tricky the likelihood of having two smokes in this situation when you're pushed on site is very very unlikely but if you do have two smokes and you find yourself here you can actually make two one ways to hold uh this for yourself make a one way on this doorway and you can make a one way up on the heaven doorway here uh, aim towards the left of the doorway as it blocks them off a lot better. So you get this one way going, and I'll show you this one. And this is what they see when they uh, cross this. They can't really see you at all, so yeah. If you want to play on top of 410 here, this is called 410 if you guys didn't know. Uh, you can actually make a one-way smoke here uh, on the sign. You kind of want to put it towards the uh, center a little bit more just so you don't get peeked by spawn because this angle is a pretty common angle here so you can pretty much smoke it off entirely and use this as a one way uh, obviously you see them first here they can't really see you um, so you get the advantage the only problem with this is you have to have your team watching the right side so you don't get flanked so as for using Omen's Paranoia, there's only two good attacking blinds that I can think of, uh, you know, if you want to rush on A site here. You could actually use the right of this pipe right here towards this area, do a nice little jump throw. You can use your minimap to guide it. Uh, so this blinds the top of pipe here and this inner corner, uh, and which is very beneficial if your team's exploding on site. 
Uh, you can also get into this corner right here. Use your mini map to guide it, and you can blind this entire right side. So this blind is good because it gets the close corner here, and it gets behind generator in case anyone's decided to peek there. Let's say you're pushed up and you have this smoked off. This this might be a good paranoia trick here. So you could actually paranoia all of screen right here. Uh, so you pr pretty much just paranoia this, and then you can teleport over it like that. So with that teleport, you could actually probably catch someone off here if you blind them successfully. So if you guys watch my stream a lot, you guys notice that, you know, I, I like to peek things a lot because I'm NA. Uh, so instead of walking up this ramp like a normal person, you can actually TP up here and then peek faster. Uh, so to guide your TP, you just basically want to use this orange arrow to teleport because if you use this one, uh, this TP spot's not good because they can see you spawn in. So if you use this one right here, it keeps you safe enough where you can actually just peek immediately. So that's just a, a little friendly tip if you want to go a little bit more aggressive. So for those that don't know, Omen's teleport kind of works like an arch. It's like throwing a football. If you aim straight forward here, you can teleport on 410. But if you aim a little bit up and if you jump forward, you can actually get on these boxes behind it like this. Initially, this is a very, very dangerous TP to pull off because you basically expose yourself midair to the right uh, right side and the left side. So what I would actually do is if you have a silver in your team or someone that can recon, you know, have them clear left and right first. Uh, you can also use a paranoia to make it less uh, dangerous. So let's say you can just paranoia behind the generator here and then teleport and hope uh, no one's on the left side. Or you could uh, paranoia this left side towards screen here, the screen peak, and teleport and hopefully no one's on the generator side. It's kind of high risk, high reward, but hey, it's Omen. So here's a little TP play that I came up with recently. You make a one-way smoke on top of site here, and then you blind this path right here. So this gets the corner behind generator, so you blind like this, and then you can TP like this. So it's relatively a safer TP. The people uh, in this area will be blind behind this corner, behind this generator. It's unfortunate that someone could actually just run out here and you know pick you off. But the thing is, if someone runs out here, your team could actually capitalize on it. The, the only angles that you should be worried about when you finish this TP is up rafter if someone's pushing out rafter or this angle right here if someone's just watching it. But it's highly unlikely that someone's going to be looking at generator from this angle. So if you want to get a little bit more aggressive with Omen and you want to TP into their spawn for whatever reason, it's a little bit risky, but what you can do is put a smoke here. Uh, this is kind of risky because you're exposed from this angle here and trying to get the TP off is a little hard. So what you can do is blind the smoke and then TP down like this. So you pretty, pretty much TP behind them, they could also be in the smoke, but sometimes you could look like a dumbass and uh, you're just ex you're so exposed out here. But it's Omen, making aggressive plays is fun. So Omen's ultimate for attacking A site isn't isn't the best tool because there's so many close angles here if that if you spawn in you're probably going to die. Uh, what you should do is maybe alt towards their spawn, like maybe back here towards the rocks. I don't think ulting their direct spawn is the play. I feel like that's very, very uh, easy to notice. Especially in high elo lobbies, I never get this play off anymore. But if I were to use my ultimate, I'd probably go back here with maybe a smoke covering myself. However, I'd probably just use his ultimate as a pinch and uh, information tool. So basically, you ult in and distract the enemy as your team uh, you know, dives in on them. Or you just use his ultimate to cancel it and grab it. Uh, as much information as you can of where enemy locations are. If I were to use my Omen ult, I'd actually ult on top of this generator right here because it grabs a lot of information for your team. So you basically get to scout behind 410, you get to scout behind the generator, who's playing underneath the rafter, who's playing on top of rafter, who's playing within the, uh, the little nest here. So this is not a bad ult spot to grab a lot of information. So one alt play that I like to do when attacking A site is show my presence towards A. So basically what I mean is I'll use both my smokes like this. I'll smoke that. I'll smoke this. And then I'll, us I'll usually use my flash just like this. So with that in mind, someone actually might go on the flank real quick. So what I'll do is use my alt to go back into spawn, just like that. And sometimes I'll catch players off flanking mid real fast, so I'll usually catch them off right here, just because they think I uh, showed a lot of presence A. Moving along from A site, we're going to be attacking mid now. So if your team is defaulting, which means you're not rushing any site like a maniac right off the rip, uh, you should establish a default smoke as, you know, omen or any smoker. So a good default smoke on Icebox would be smoke this, because this denies a lot of enemy vision. A lot of enemies like to peek under the tube here, or they like to be holding... Uh, 
the the top of boiler here so i'm going to explain this default smoke a little bit better so you guys get a better understanding what you can do with it so this smoke right here if you keep putting it down every single round the enemy might not think anything of it and it becomes very unpredictable of what you can do so basically this smoke is down it denies a lot of enemy vision from boiler and under the tube what you can do is actually lurk through it under the tube and uh surprise someone or through boiler and surprise someone that way so it just becomes more and more unpredictable of what you might be doing behind that smoke and it just catches the enemy off guard sometimes when you try to make plays through it. So as Omen, I'm going to show you a couple ways you can attack mid if your team is feeling frisky and they want to run up down mid. So what you can do is smoke the uh, inner tube here towards the top of the ramp and this work kind of works as a one way underneath the tube and it just blocks off the tube too. So this smoke isn't too bad, you can also have a teammate watching uh, right here so if someone's trying to push behind you, your team, they can get the flank or uh, the tube here. You can also smoke here on top of boiler. Make sure your smoke's a little bit to the left as uh, if you don't put it towards the left, the uh, th there'll be a gap where the enemy can actually see. So if you smoke right here, this should cover uh, boiler just just well enough. So anyone that drops down into the smoke, obviously they're going to lose their accuracy. You should, have, you should win the gunfight. And as Omen, you could actually even further help your team uh, by blinding this path. In case anyone's playing pallet or within this area, you could actually just throw your blind here as well. As Omen, obviously you have your teleport and you can teleport up on the tube here uh, pretty easily. I'd recommend teleporting right here, uh, specifically this corner, because if you teleport anywhere else, uh, the enemy can actually see you and just take you out immediately. So you want to teleport right here. So while you're up here, there is a ton of angles to cover. So what I recommend is to eliminate some angles using some smokes. Uh, what you can actually do is, you know, th there's a lot of smokes that you can throw randomly here to block off vision. You can actually make a one-way on top of this to block off kitchen. You can throw out your boiler smoke to block off boiler and start playing some different angles. You can even go as far as making a smoke on top of this uh, crate here and block off some of these angles over here. So with these smokes, you can block off some angles that you potentially might die from if you're playing up here. So you can actually make a one way on this door here which blocks off a ton of different angles from the enemy team. This one is actually pretty hard to pull off but essentially what you want to do is uh, you see how the green arrow keeps falling off? You want to make it just so you back up just a little bit and get it right there right on top of the door. So it has to be perfect uh, or else it will just fall down below the door. So it essentially looks like this. It blocks off a ton of, uh, ton of angles from the enemy team and while you're up here you could actually hug this and then teleport down here safely. So if you want to get a little bit more crazy with your plays up here, you can actually smoke out the window here of kitchen and your plan is to TP right here. So before you TP, you can actually blind the window smoke here. A, a sage on the enemy team likes to usually play kitchen and uh, what they do is usually wall off the tube here. So if you blind towards the smoke, like towards the right of the smoke as you do it and then TP here, you might go here and notice and the enemy team won't even know what happened. So this is a fun little sequence that I like to do as the round starts. So basically you teleport up here. You send your blind towards uh, kitchen here, and then you jump down and te uh, teleport onto this box here. So with this play, you could actually catch someone off right here with uh, them being blind. This actually works better if you have like a judge or something, something cheesy. It's a very cheese tactic, so it doesn't work all the time, but when it works, it's kind of funny because they mauled. So if you use your smoke here, uh, the enemies might get a little bit curious if they're uh, towards screen if you're pushed up here. You can actually paranoia this and then TP over the smoke onto rafter like this. So it's just a little fun TP sequence that you could do. Maybe catch someone off playing in this corner or just underneath the rafter. I don't know how many times you're going to find yourself in this situation, but you can actually make a one way on this reeling here. It's kind of hard to do, but if you want to make a one way here, you can actually hold off rotations and people from kitchen uh, have to peek from the right side or they have to man it down the stairs. If you want to do an aggressive omen play through tube to kitchen, here's what I recommend. You put down your default smoke to make it unpredictable of what you're doing behind that smoke. So obviously, wait for the smoke to bloom, you cross into tube, clear this with your gun. Uh, and then throw a smoke right here in kitchen, blind that same smoke that you just put down, and teleport to the cabinet right here. So if anyone's playing in the smoke and they're blind, they're probably going to wait it out, and then they're going to peek tube right after. So they're probably going to peek like this. They're not going to expect anyone to be cabinet here, so it's just a little cheesy aggressive own play that you could do. So moving along, we're going to be attacking B site. I'm going to show you the most essential smokes you can throw as omen here. So the first one blocks off all of snowman, which is this area back here. So it should look like something like this. So this, 
uh, is usually held by like a jet opera or something, or just like a Reyna who wants to eco peek everything. So blocking this off is really, really essential for pushing B. Also, the second smoke should be here, as this is a very, very annoying angle to deal with. If you just smoke it off simply, uh, you don't have to deal with that angle anymore. Although this segment's all about attacking, I'm going to show you something to be cautious about here with this smoke in particular. Is people like to play on this barrel, and playing on this barrel, they can actually see you if you go on that uh, grey crate over there. And people like to go as far as sage walling up here as well, so this is what it looks like from a sage wall view. Probably this height right here, well they can actually see you swing from here, uh, this angle over here, and up top on the crate here. So you just got to be cautious about uh, those kind of angles. So there's an alternative smoke to counter that angle a little bit better, but I don't think it's worth it because uh, it kind of helps the enemy team get into sight a lot better. You could actually smoke right here, but I actually don't recommend this too much as it does benefit the enemy team a lot. So with this smoke, you can't see anyone passing into sight and it kind of just kind of screws you up. While I'm making this guide, we get a surprise appearance here from Ethos. Look what we said in chat. Oh my god, hi YouTube, subscribe and hit that bell. Also comment uh, how big Chris's bum is. So. Yeah, I love you, Ethos. Alright, so back to the video. I actually don't think there's any more smokes that are useful outside the essential smokes. So if you try to make one ways here, it doesn't really benefit you because I personally think there's just way too many angles to hold. Obviously, you get an advantage here, you get an advantage here, but you don't get an advantage throughout this entire uh, alley here, and you also get, uh, you might get swung from the left side as well. So as for paranoia spots, I actually think this is probably your best bet for paranoia. You can blind this entire path right here. So this isn't too bad of a blind because it blinds off you know three different angles that the enemy could be holding so if you blind right here simply just like that it might blind off the enemy holding right here it might blind off the enemy holding here and here so i think that's probably your best bet to blind um you know just a few angles as for omen blind i actually wouldn't use it in this area because everything is just too close together and what i mean by that is if you don't know how omen blind works if you blind someone and walk up to them closely they can actually still see you so if you blind this for instance Say let's you blind this, you blind the guy behind this crate, you blind the guy in the cubby here, they can actually still see you when you peek. Uh, the only thing that changes is that they won't hear you approach because they're, they're pretty much deafened. What I would actually recommend to blind is, you know, save your blind, go up here on the crate here. You can actually line up with this V on the wall. Go to the uh, right of this V a little bit and you can actually use this as a guide. So basically you want to blind something like this. The reason why this blind is pretty good is it gets on top of this crate, gets down below, it gets this angle right here, gets up top here, it gets uh, below here. So it kind of blinds off the initial angles the enemies might be holding. For b -say, I think Omen's blind is better used for a post-plant scenario. So basically, if the spike's down and the enemies are trying to defuse it, you can then use your blind to capitalize on that. So we're going to go back to B main here. I'm going to show you a pretty decent teleport just to start off the round. So basically, you want to teleport like this. Uh, you don't want to teleport too far out here, obviously, because the enemies can be holding you right here. You don't want to teleport up here by mistake, because the enemies could also be holding that. And you don't want to be teleporting right here, because if you teleport right here, someone could be holding that angle as well. If you're feeling a little bit aggressive and you want to try and make an aggressive play here, what you can do is paranoia um, pretty much on top of this crate here, basically like that. Paranoia this, and you can teleport on top. The reason why this is super risky is because someone could be playing on top of yellow, that someone could be playing all the way back here, down here, and just, you know, this is pretty, uh, pretty dangerous teleport, but it's a high risk and high reward move. So if you want to be a little bit ballsy, you have your uh, essential smokes down and you want to go for an aggressive teleport here, you can actually blind that path and then teleport in yellow. Uh, being up here and taking aim duels actually just makes you feel like an aim god when you pull it off, but also this is kind of risky and it could be detrimental for your team. Let's pretend that the essential smokes are down, you know, covering snowman on top site here, and you're unsure that yellow is clear. They could be playing right here or even behind yellow here. You can actually just paranoia the whole, uh, the whole entire yellow here, teleport across, and maybe catch them by surprise. So that's always an option too. As someone that loves to play Omen aggressively, I always like theory crafting different plays that you could do. So basically, drop your essential smokes like this. Uh, let's say you've already cleared this entire area, you could actually blind this, so basically if they do try and push out the smoke, they're going to fall back in the smoke, so you blind that, you teleport up like this, you can then push your smoke like this, maybe get a pick here, and then you can teleport down like that, maybe surprise an enemy uh, or two from this side as well. And if that doesn't uh, you know, tickle your fancy, you could save that second teleport and you could also try and do a teleport play across this. For those that don't know, you can actually, yes, you can teleport across this. 
maybe surprise someone holding this as well. If you find yourself right here with pretty much full utility, what you can do to have a little bit more fun is you smoke this out right here. You can then take your paranoia out and blind this path right here. So you want to blind right here. And then you can teleport up here. So this is just a little fun teleport you can do. Obviously, they can be sitting under here in the little hut. Uh, so this works as a one way. So obviously, you can see them first before they see you. Obviously, they can swing you from the left here. And obviously, I keep saying obviously. I don't know why I keep saying obviously. If you want to use your omen ult to attack B aggressively, it's a little bit risky, but I'll show you a couple variations that I have on my mind. So you can smoke out snowman like this, like you typically do, and then you can ult back B like this. So this one is a little bit risky because they can be peeking you from any angle. They could literally just be hiding here and then catch you off guard. They can be hiding here, around this corner, or in the smoke and then peek you that way. So for the second one, you could actually smoke the window here of kitchen. And then you can ult into this corner right here. <clears throat> so this one's not too too bad because if they do push you from kitchen, they have to drop down and they're pretty inaccurate when they fall. So you can take that fight. If anyone's approaching you from behind, then uh, you can hear them and you have your paranoid to work with. So you can blind them and maybe go for a TP outplay after that. Lastly, you can actually use your ult just for reconning, just to the scout for your team. Uh, this box right here is actually not too too bad, as you can scout a lot of areas. So basically, you can scout towards kitchen, obviously you can cancel this ult whenever you don't have to stick it, but you can scout kitchen and you can scout everything around site right here. Top, bottom, bridge, l below the bridge here and to the left. So this is pretty useful to uh, pinch for your team and also, you know, just scout them out. So now we're in middle, I'm going to show you guys how to attack B site from underneath the tube using some aggressive maneuvers here. So basically put your default smoke down, wait for it to bloom obviously and clear it with your gun. As soon as it's clear, you want to uh, blind the window of kitchen. As soon as you blind it, take your teleport out. You can use your mini map to guide your teleport and you want to teleport left. So getting right here is pretty good. Obviously if someone's right here, you're just going to die. But the, what essentially this blind does is blind anyone right here close up, blinding towards the window, and you might be able to get one pick there. So uh, after that's done, you can then put a smoke right here. You can then clear these angles as this is blooming and then maybe teleport into that smoke too. So once you're in the smoke, you have a few options of what you can do. You can start peeking this angle right here, maybe clear yellow, uh, clear this angle right here. You can even uh, furthermore walk towards kitchen and clear this uh, hallway as well. So there's a lot of different plays that you can do off of these sequences. So moving along, now we're defending A site and I'm going to show you guys a one-way smoke that Jordan Fisher taught me first. So basically it goes like this. So you want to put your smoke right here uh, of nest. And I think that works right here. So basically you can use this one way and hold belt with it. This is a really, really sick one way. So thank you, Jordan Fisher, for this one. I love you. A very, very simple omen smoke would be to just simply smoke off the orb here. If they push past the smoke, they have there's a lot of different angles they have to clear. Obviously, this angle right here is kind of exposed. So if you play close to smoke, you have to be watching this angle as well. So as you can tell with A-Sight, there's a lot of elevation here, which means you can defend A-Sight pretty easily using one ways. This first one way is pretty good to hold the orb here. Um, also good to block this jump up angle for the enemy team so if they pass this corner towards the orb you can see them first obviously if you stick out too much you can be seen if you fall back into sight more you can make a one way on to 410 here this one's pretty decent as they can't see you from the elevation here but you can see them first here so this one is really really solid furthermore if you want to play in a more aggressive one way smoke to block belt this one's pretty decent if I were to make this one-way smoke, I'd be playing this jump up angle, and then if I do get spotted, I can reposition uh, using a teleport here or here. So this one's pretty good because the blocks uh, nest as well. So as for defending the left side of A-Site, uh, using this 410 one-way, I'm going to show this again. This one-way is really, really strong, especially if you follow it up with the paranoia. So you can place this one-way here and then use this to your advantage here. But then you can also send a paranoia through it and then start peeking it from this angle as well and they won't know what hit them. So this right here is probably one of the most useful one ways you can make on a site here. So basically you want to put your one way at the very top of this uh, 410 crate here. So basically just in the middle here. So it's going to look like this. So with this one way made, it blocks off the headshot angle right here and anyone that swings pipes right here, you can see first. So this one way, very, very good. So this next one way is really, really sick. So it kind of looks like this. You want to set it up right here at the top of nest and just send it like that. Teleport up here. 
And voila, you have one of the sickest one ways you can actually think of. So this one way works exceptionally well for anyone that's pushing the belt here. So here's the same exact one way that I showed previously, just at a safer location. You can just throw the one way like this. Stick it up there and this should be good. And then you can start using this. Another play if you want to try and get aggressive on the enemy team is you can make a one way right here. Teleport up here as the round starts and then paranoia that area, like just like this. Obviously wait a second as you paranoia and don't jump up immediately, but you get the idea that you can see them first, they can't see you, and anyone that passed will be blind and you can punish them. If you want to go for a more uh, if you want to go for a more aggressive hold, what you can do is make a one-way smoke on the corner here. As soon as the round starts, you teleport up here. You can then blind towards the smoke like this. Jump up here, maybe catch a few people off that were blind. And if you want to make it a more aggressive play, more risky, you can teleport right here towards your, your one-way smoke. And if anyone was blind and pushed past this, you might get a free pick here as well. So if you want to get a little bit more aggressive and hold the left side of sight here, here's a sequence that you could follow to maybe get a pick or two. So what you could do is smoke the corner of the belt right here, just like this. As soon as this, uh, the round starts, run forward, do a nice little strafe teleport here, and start peeking this little fence. Maybe get a pick here, and maybe get a pick uh, of someone peeking you at the top of belt here. What you then could do is actually smoke right behind you, wait for the smoke to bloom, and then teleport past that into safety. So that's just a little sequence you could do to uh, get a little bit more aggressive on your defense. So Owen's Blind is really good to assist your teammates for getting kills. So what you can do is go to mid pallet right here, go into the corner. Uh, this is a good spot because you can, if you, the enemies are rushing this, you can actually just hear them. And if your team is pushing them, you can actually blind this entire corridor. So you can blind this and have your teammates go to work. So let's talk omen ult real quick. I think the best way to use your omen ult on icebox since it's pretty long is to, you know, use it as a rotation tool. So basically, if you're A site and they're pushing B, uh, you should probably just ult B and help your team. I think ulting behind the enemy is a little bit difficult on this map. It's kind of obvious if you ult towards their spawn. If they do push B really fast, what you could do is ult in this corner here and maybe catch them off guard. If they push A fast, you can maybe ult in this corner and catch them off guard here. I actually just don't think it's that viable for an aggressive tool. I think that it's better for information in pinch, uh, using it as a pinch tool. Say if you have a thirst hungry raised player who just wants to double satchel and rocket uh, players, what you could actually do is, you know, ult the common spots players would push. So you could ult towards the bottom of a belt here or on top of it or the elbow right here and distract the enemies as your raised double satchels in. So I think that's the best way to use your omen ult. Omen Ultimate is always a fun ability to use as an outplay tool. So basically, a funny thing that happened to me the other day where I actually scaled across this. So you go across like this. As soon as you pass this angle, you start walking. I went to the corner of this nest here. I Omen Ulted away. I waited. I waited. I canceled it. And there was a jet right in front of me who had no clue I was actually there. And she was looking at this angle and I took her out. Playing Omen defending on A site isn't too too bad because there's a lot of repositions you can do with his teleport. So if he's stuck in the middle of 410 here, he can actually teleport behind generator, he can teleport to safety behind screen, he can actually teleport to rafter up here, and also if he's behind generator, he can have the option to teleport behind 410, he can teleport back site towards here, he can teleport up rafter and escape site. So there's a lot of ways to reposition his Omen and I think he's viable on this site. Now we're going to transition over to defending middle. There's not a whole lot going on in middle as you're just pretty much watching this area right here. So I'm going to start off with a very simple basic smoke here. So you can just smoke this. This smoke is pretty good as you can just walk up on it. They have to swing you or use you, uh, utility to get past this smoke. Um, so this isn't too bad. But keep in mind that they might actually smoke you off with this default smoke just like this. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So usually I put this smoke down as my default defender smoke as omen and I like to lurk through it a lot as the enemy team loves to push A or B really fast. So with this uh, smoke in mind you can actually just lurk into their spawn but most uh, players you know most teams run killjoy and they put their turret on the flanks on, on top of this barrel or on top of this crate here and it becomes a uh, it becomes a nuisance it becomes a cuck so running flanks on this map can be really difficult. So like most areas on this map, you can actually make a one way here on the crate and just watch mid th that way as well. The only aggressive play that I can think of going through mid here is you throw your simple smoke right there. Uh, you blind through the smoke like this and then you can teleport on the crate behind them. So 
This is kind of a gamble because there's so many different angles you're exposed to, but it's probably your best bet for an aggressive play mid. So one thing you guys might not know is that you can go on these little lamp things and spawn as you're defending and you can watch the first peak of mid uh, like just like this. It's, it's pretty unknown, but this angle is really frustrating when you die from it. If the enemy team doesn't smoke off the middle here, this is actually pretty good smoke to watch mid. You can actually smoke off the tube, so this works as a smoke uh, that, you know, smoke is off kitchen, and also a one-way smoke that might catch the enemy off guard if they do pass through mid. So, pretty solid smoke. So now we're in the home stretch, and we're going to be defending B site as Omen. But first, we're going to start with this corridor. I think this is an excellent place for Omen to defend, because he can make a lot of one-ways, and his paranoia is really, really good at holding this. So, we're going to start off with a simple smoke. So he can just simply smoke this off here. This works pretty well, uh, preventing them from pushing. If they do push past, you have your paranoia and you can blind just like that. If anyone did push past and they sit under here, they're going to be completely blind. They don't know what hit them, they're probably going to die. Uh, and the good thing about this is this is pretty spammable as they can only be in this one area. Uh, but the bad part is you can get spammed back as well. Now we're going to go over a very, very useful one-way. You can actually make a one-way on top of the uh, the little garage door here, just like this. Obviously, you want to wait uh, till it blooms before peeking it. So it pretty much just covers off both angles here where they can peek from. And it's just a very, very useful one-way. You can also make a little headshot box uh, smoke right here. You put the smoke on the right side of the wall right here. Obviously, wait for it to bloom, and then you can get up here, and then you can start going to town on their uh, on headshots. So the one way on this door is actually really good from this angle as well. I'll just show you real quick. So you put the one way up, and this angle ain't too bad to cover it with. So if you want to hold B main a little bit more aggressively, and you want to make a little stylish play, what you can do is smoke this off simply just like this. You paranoia straight through it, and then you can teleport up just like that. So with that play, anyone that's right here should be blind, and this uh, smoke is really important as people like to hide in garage and, and just watch this angle for no reason. So yeah, this smoke it actually serves a purpose. So if you want to do an aggressive play and you want to teleport up here just to hold it from the highest ground you can, what you can do is throw a pop smoke in the air right here, wait for it to bloom, and then teleport. So the reason why you wait for it to bloom first and then teleport is so... As soon as it's falling, you won't be seen by the enemy that wide swings and you won't die instantly. So if you're playing up here and you need a one way for coverage here, I'll show you two one ways that you could actually use on the fly. So you can make a one way on the, on top of this box here. This is good for covering uh, the crate back there and also right here. So basically you see their legs first. And also you can put a one way up on this crate right here, just like that. And this also works to cover this as well. So these are good one ways on the fly if you're trying to hold this real fast. If you really want to test your luck as an aggressive omen player and you want to go for a really, really aggressive defense, what you could do is actually smoke this off right here. So as soon as the round starts, you smoke this off. You blind this right here and then you teleport across just like that. With that smoke in hand right here, blocks off anyone else from peeking garage on you. You can clear this area first, so anyone that's blind right here you could pick off. And then you can actually go in and TP across this smoke loop, just like that. And maybe play across this smoke. So that's, that's for the really, really extreme aggressive Owen players, the chads. So falling back to yellow right here, we're going to go over two one ways real quick. Uh, on the right side here, you can one way this crate here. This one way acts as a very good coverage if they go on top here, obviously this is smoked off, you can't see them, they can't see you. This right side, you can see them first, they can't see you, but if you push out too much, you're going to be exposed on this left side. So, moving around to the left side of yellow here, you can actually make a one way on the closer side of this crate, like this, just on this corner here. This one way is phenomenal because it covers the very top again. Uh, if they pu uh, push the further side, you can see them, they can't see you. And if they push the closer side, they're, they're pretty much guaranteeing their own death here. So these are pretty two solid one ways to uh, watch this main here. If you want to hold B main from a higher angle, you can actually teleport on top of yellow here and start making one ways up here as well. So the first one way, you can make it at the top left of the crate here. This one's pretty decent at holding just the left side. It kind of lacks on the right side because it doesn't cover the jump up or the right angle here. So on the left side, it covers everything. And if they do push it, it's pretty much a free kill. However, there's an alternative smoke where you can actually throw it. Uh, like I mentioned previously, this smoke right here in the corner. You throw that smoke. 
Uh, you can also change your angle around with the smoke, so it's pretty good. You just gotta be careful of this uh, little gap right here, so if someone's back there, they can actually spot you. Uh, with this one, holding the right side is no problem, and you can also turn this into an aggressive play like that. Teleporting into the corner, maybe flanking an, uh, an enemy or two, someone might be hiding the smoke, or you're just playing up here. So it kind of works uh, as a one way into an aggressive play, so kind of cool. If the enemy team is pushing really fast, you need to fall back, and you want to catch them off guard with an aggressive omen sequence here, uh, this is the play for you. What you can do is smoke the corner here, make a one-way. This one-way is going to really cover you when you get on top of yellow, so your goal is to teleport on top of yellow. So you're going to blind right here, maybe blind someone that passes through to yellow, or that it's going to have people fall back. You can then do a strafe TP on top of yellow here. See how this uh, smoke just covers most of this area? You can maybe catch someone behind uh, yellow that's blind or just completely unaware. And then you can follow through with another TP into this corner like that. Obviously, it's going to be done a lot much faster. I'm just trying to explain it for you guys. So ju just a little aggressive sequence that will catch the enemy off guard. Let's say you're playing yellow and you get spotted at this location behind yellow. What you can actually do here is make a smoke like this. And then you can teleport towards this box just like that. So what the smoke does is actually covers you so you can get onto the uh, top of this box and some people might actually push you and they won't be looking uh, towards you, they'll be looking towards uh, where they just saw you yellow. So I'm going to show you a little sequence you can do is omen to catch people off guard with your uh, repositions here. So what you can do is make a one way up on this crate again. Uh, maybe you get one pick off of this one way just like this. You, you, might, you might be good for one right here. You can then reposition towards yellow here and then work this area as well. Because they just spotted you from right here, they're not going to expect you to uh, aggressively TP towards yellow. So you can maybe catch someone off right here. If you do catch someone off, that's two. Then you can do the same t uh, you know, smoke right here and then you can teleport on the crate right here. And at this point, you're just really, really working the enemies and they're not having a fun time. Let's say you have both smokes left and the enemy team is pushing really fast. What you can do with your smokes is smoke off the left and right side of yellow here. And if they do go for the plant and they, uh, they they tap the bomb to plant it, you can actually blind this path right here. This is a pretty good blind path. Uh, hope no one swings this and you can teleport right here behind the planner. This is pretty decent because you're going to catch the planner off guard. And also you can start working around this smoke and catch uh, people off guard as well. Hey look, it's the same one way from a different spot. So last but not least, now we're on to Omen Alt, and I actually don't think there's many Omen Alt usages here for the uh, defending of B site. I think the best aggressive way you can use his ult is to ult on B green right here. Um, if they do push up and you hear them plant, you could probably ult right here. Kind of risky, as someone might be uh, playing close, or they could just hear it. If people hear it and you hear them approaching from this side, you have your paranoia to work with. If someone's, uh, you know, watching the flank and they hear you and they just happen to, you know, stumble upon you, unlucky. Nothing you can really do about that. The second usage, I'd probably use it as a pinch and info gathering tool where I can go on top of yellow here. If you have a crazy raise on your team who wants to double satchel with a rocket, you could distract the enemy as she flies in and distract track them that way so you can go behind yellow here or on top of yellow either or works and you can use it as a info gathering tool so that's pretty much the only two ways that i would use as alt um for a uh b defend on top of that uh i just save it for a rotation tool in the future in case i'm watching b and they push a then i have to rotate to a so i think his alt is just really really good in uh terms of rotating this isn't really an omen tip, but for those that don't know, there's these boxes outside a kitchen here, and you can actually use this angle through sight uh, to pick someone off. So this is a very unique angle. So that pretty much wraps up the guide on Icebox. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you actually learned something, feel free to drop a like as it does help out the video. Subscribe if you want to see more content. I appreciate it, and I will finish off the week with the Bind and Haven guide real soon. Thank you guys for watching the video, and peace.